Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add oxygen or your breath underwater. So in the last video I showed you how to swim, which I recommend you watching before this. And then in today's video I'm going to show so when you are swimming, you actually have breath, which you're going to be holding. After a certain amount of time, it will start taking damage, which I'll do in a different video as well. But today it will be your your oxygen goes down, and when you're out of the water it goes back up again. And sorry about the lack of videos recently, I've fallen ill, so if my voice isn't still perfect, that's why. But back to the videos again now. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is open up our third person character. So that's in third person BP, blueprints, and third person character. We'll just open that up there. And then we're going to want to come down here, which we made this in a previous video. And this is event on movement mode changed. And if you haven't got this, then it's fine. Basically, all you need is event on movement mode changed. The new movement mode is swimming. And then we're going to come off of true. So then off of this, we're going to come off and get a gate. So we just get a gate like that and this is actually going to go into the open not the enter the enter will be an event tick so we get event tick put that into there like that and then the close will plug in to off of this down here because this is obviously when you're then walking again and then the exit we're going to come out and set a delay so drag off and get a delay and this is going to be for how long for the amount of time in between the breath goes down so let's say we want it to go down every second so we'll put the duration as one in there like that. And then what we're gonna do is create another variable. So down here, we have variables hit plus. I'm gonna call this oxygen. And we're gonna change this from a Boolean to an integer like that. Compile, I'm gonna set the default value to 100. So we have 100 oxygen, but you can set this to whatever you want. And we're gonna drag it in and pull it onto there. So we're setting the oxygen like that. And then we'll right click. And what we want to get is a integer minus an integer. Plug the return value into there like that. And then what we're going to do is get oxygen into the top there as well. And the bottom number we change to whatever we want it to go down by. So I'm going to say it's going to go down by five every second. So every one second, we're going to be setting the oxygen to the amount of oxygen you have now minus five. And what we're actually going to do before this, so let's just move this out a bit. And then we're going to get a branch. And this is just going to be to check to see if you have more than zero oxygen because if you do then it will decrease your oxygen by five if not it will just won't do anything because you don't have enough oxygen to decrease by so what we're going to do is get oxygen there so get oxygen and we'll drag off of this and get a greater than or equal to integer and the integer will be i'll set it to one so if you have one or more oxygen then it will decrease else it won't do anything and then we'll set that up in the next video of that actually decreasing health. So we'll move this up here. And I'll just move this out a little bit like that. So now this is basically all you need to do for it to decrease the oxygen. So I'm going to compile this and we're going to make the actual widget itself before we go into the regeneration just to test this out. So if we minimize this and then if we right click in the content browser, go to user interface and widget blueprint. I'm just going to call this oxygen level widget and we open this up and then I'm just going to get a simple progress bar. Obviously you can customize this to however you want, to be certain images or something like a pair of lungs. But for the moment I'm just going to do a progress bar. And I think actually I'll have it vertical instead of horizontal. I'll just put it down here. Again, customize this however you want. So then the bar fill will be bottom to top if I just test that. Then I think blue is quite good for oxygen. Make sure you anchor it down there and that's good. And then for percent if we go on to bind, create binding. What we do here is just... We're going to cast to third person character or just your character and then the object obviously get player character like that and as third person character we're going to get oxygen whatever you name that variable then we're going to plug this into here to convert it into a float and then what we're going to do is just alt click on this to disconnect that and then get a divide so float divided by float plug a return value back into there and we're going to divide by 100 like that. So now if we compile and then go back into our third person character, what we also want to do is off here just before we do all this. So if we just move all this over a little bit, just before here, we want to create widget and we'll put this as the oxygen level widget and then add to viewport like that. And then make sure that this is then all plugged in back into the gate again. Down here, we're going to drag off the return value for the create oxygen and just remove from parent there and plug that into there like that. And this just means that the oxygen limit won't always be there on screen. But obviously, if you want it to be there, then just keep it on. So we hit compile, minimize this, and hit play to test it. 
you see we don't have the HUD on our screen at all. If we go into the water, it comes up onto our screen and it starts decreasing perfectly how we want. If we go back up out of the water, it then disappears. If we go back in, the oxygen level will remain the same as what it was because we haven't set up the regeneration yet. But that is now how that works. And when it goes to the bottom, it should stop doing anything like that. So that works perfectly. So now let's move on to the regeneration side. So let's go back into the third person character here. And like I say, what we're going to do is come off of the bottom one here. So what we want to get is the gate again. So if we just get a gate off of remove from parent here, actually what we if we get a sequence here like this, so then then zero goes into that gate up there, and then one goes into another gate down here. Again, this goes on to open, event tick goes on to enter, and this one here, add to viewport, goes into close. So it's basically this one, but the other way around. Uh, sorry, we're going to need to get sequences again. So I just move all of this over, get a sequence off of event tick, and sequence basically means you can just use it more than once. So a sequence, then zero, goes into enter of that gate, then one, enter of this gate, and then off of add to viewport here, get another sequence then zero goes into open, then one goes into close of this one. So like I say, it's this gate, but reversed, like so, as simple as that. Then it's basically, like I say, just the same as all of this, but the opposite. So we get a delay again, and this, once again, it's gonna be the interval of what we want it to increase by this time. So I'm gonna say I want it to increase every half a second, so 0.5, and then let's get a branch again, and this is gonna to check to see if the auction is above 100 whatever you want your max oxygen to be. So a good way if you want to be able to change the amount of oxygen you can have or the amount of time you can hold your breath for is create another variable and call this one max oxygen. Again, keep it as an integer, compile and then set this one to what you want it to be. And so this is just an easy way of then changing it in game. So if you have an upgrade to hold your breath longer, this is a good way of setting that up. So we want to get max oxygen, so get, and then also just get oxygen. Put those the other way around, sorry. And then off of the oxygen, we're going to drag out and get less than or equal to, less than or equal to integer, like that. Plug the boolean into the condition of there and max oxygen into the bottom. So basically, if the oxygen you have now is less than or equal to the maximum amount of oxygen you have, then it will start regenerating the oxygen. So like I say, if we want that to be, so it is less. So we'll come off of true for this branch. And off of true, we're going to get a set oxygen again. So if we just drag off like that, set oxygen. And once again, we're going to get oxygen there. So get oxygen. And this time, instead of a minus node up here, we're going to get an addition. So we simply get integer plus integer. And I want it to increase by three every time. So then plug that into there. And this basically means every 0.5 seconds, if the oxygen you have is less than the max amount of oxygen, then it's going to add three to the oxygen and then set that. So then obviously if it's more, if it's a hundred, then or your max amount, it will then start doing that. So I'm gonna also just comment these so I know what they are. So this one, so you just select it and press C. This is oxygen drain. Same for this one, oxygen regen, like that. So then if I compile that and close it and hit play to test, you see no HUD. We get into the water, we're swimming, we have the HUD it's now going down and then if we go back up we won't actually be able to see it going up but if you remember what it was it's now higher than that so again I'll just take off the remove from parent so if we go back into third person character and actually for the remove from parent like I say I'll just get rid of that for a second so actually we'll just keep it on screen so just plug it in there like that and then we can see it going up again so if we hit play and then get back into the water you see it's going down, it's decreasing like this as we swim around on the water. Again, change this to how much oxygen you want and how much you want it to go down and increase by. But if we get out of the water, the oxygen is now going back up and it's a lot quicker than it's draining by. So again, change how quickly you want these to happen. So it's going up and it's going back down again. And then when we get back out, it increases again. So there we go, that works perfectly. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've got it so we, that we have the HUD on screen when you enter the water and we can be swimming around and the oxygen will be decreasing. And then if we get out of the water, 
the hide can disappear but for the moment we've got it still on and the oxygen is increasing again when we are out of the water and if we go back in it will decrease again and we can do this as much as we like so basically whenever we go in and out of the water it will set the oxygen to either increase or decrease so like i say in the next video i'll show you how to make it so it decreases your health when you run out of oxygen so look forward to that so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it helpful and if you did make sure to like subscribe down below so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one